What I'd like to show you is a really simple method of removing items in the GIMP from an image. Now let's say we've got our photo which we looked at in the contrast enhancement video and I decide this branch up here. I really don't want it up here. Now if I was in Photoshop the first thing I would probably do is go to context sensitive fill or perhaps the brush. In the GIMP we don't have that so you might think to yourself, well, what are we going to do? Well, as it turns out, there is a very handy plugin for dealing with just that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select an area that has a background that's similar to what I want in the final image. And I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to highlight the area I want rid of. And I'm going to go up to Filters, Map, Resynthesize. I'm going to turn off Make Horizontally Tileable and Make Vertically Tileable. Look at my tweaks here. I don't see anything I need to tweak. I'm just going to hit OK. And while that's running, I'm going to bring up the Software Center on Ubuntu and show you where, on Ubuntu at least, where you can get this plugin. It's called Resynthesize. It can be used for several things, including touching up an image as we're about to do. And it can be used for things like if you have a picture that you would like to use as a background, but you need it to be tileable. Most of the time it can be used to make an image tileable and usually it does a pretty good job. And it appears to be taking a while to start up, so I'll just go back to the GIMP and look at that. And it does look a little odd this time around, but you can clean that up with a little bit of manual painting. If you didn't know that it was there, you probably wouldn't even recognize that there was a problem there. So, the location of the plugin is GIMP Resynthesizer. Again, if you're on Ubuntu, Look it up on the Ubuntu Software Center. Search for Resynthesize, and here it is. GIMP plugin for texture synthesis. If you're using the OS X version, it should be built right in. As far as the Windows version goes, I'm not sure, but I do know that the plugin is available. So, check it out now. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised.